what's up guys it's your boy chance i know it's a late night vlog um i know i never did get around to doing that show i was super busy with other stuff um i do apologize but uh there's something that i got asked the other day by a really good personal friend of mine you know who i hang out with sometimes And this is something that I have brought up topic wise here and there, but I never really talked about it until now. And now I think it's actually a good time to, you know, to tell you guys, you know, the truth about why I'm not able to, you know, play sports like I should be doing. You know, and a lot of people don't really understand why I'm not able to. Well, you guys are about to get your answers. And this thing, you know, messed with me for a while. And this is something that's really bugged me for quite some time. You see, growing up as a kid, you know, obviously you guys know that I do come from a military background. You know, my dad was military. We moved around a lot here and there and stuff. And... You know, growing up, I also did play a lot of baseball because like, that's, you know, that's my sport. That's what I grew up playing. Well, the main reason I'm not able to isn't just because of the fact that I do have messed up ankles from doing parkour in high school, but it's also because of my age. No team wants me because I am 28. They all want them young and everything like that. And honestly, I'll admit, I'll be the first to admit, I never wanted to do music in the first place. I never did. The only reason I took up music is because I had no other choice. It was either that or run the streets rampant and do dumb shit. But yeah, it kills me not being able to, you know, do what I love to do, what I ultimately love to do. You know, imagine, think about this. Imagine being an athlete and you get told by your doctor that you'll never be able to play sports ever again. Imagine how not only gut-wrenching that is, but imagine how that feels, the mindset of, and eating at you and eating at you. Like you want to do something so bad with your life and you know what you want to do, but you're not able to do it. That's what I go through every day. Because at heart, I'm not a musician. I'm an athlete at heart. Always have been. I even played baseball in high school and almost took my team of North High School to City. And so, you know, the school board decided to disband the team because of the fact of money issues which i still don't understand why they would do that but it is what it is but you know like i said i don't belong doing music i belong playing sports i don't belong behind a computer screen or a game controller i belong doing sports Especially doing baseball, because even now I can throw a ball at 60 miles an hour with no problem. And growing up, while all these kids in school were, you know, playing video games and, you know, keeping up with the latest trend, I was outside busting my ass, practicing my swings, pitching, doing everything I, that I could. And during the time that I wasn't playing, which is around my high school years, you know, when I wasn't playing during that time, that's when I started getting into parkour and free running. And I actually had a sponsor that was looking at me that wanted to sponsor what I was doing. But the reason why I can't do that anymore is because I came down off of a landing, like off of a jump rung, I was coming down. And my ankle pushed down into my foot and messed up my ankle really bad. So ultimately, I lost out on a major sponsorship with that due to that injury. But what most people don't realize is 
I never wanted to do music. I've always wanted to do sports, whether it be professional racing, baseball, whatever. Like, I don't care. I'm not the kind of person to just sit around and not do anything. I've been forced to sit around and do nothing. And it kills me. I hate it. Like, it, it fucking kills me not being able to play the one sport that everybody knows that I'm damn good at. Hell, to be honest with you, I even tried taking up tennis for a while. Like, I tried to look into it. But in order to get into, you know, a professional club to be able to play, to play on a pro level, you know, I had to pay like 150 bucks a month. And my family doesn't have that kind of money. And the biggest reason why I couldn't afford to do baseball even now is because of the fact that the camps are so expensive. They're like twelve to fifteen hundred dollars for a camp. You know, I never wanted to do music. I never wanted to be stuck behind a goddamn controller playing video games for the rest of my life, just fighting my ass off to get a thousand subscribers that I may even never get. I never wanted that. I always wanted to play sports, though, ever since I was a little kid. Even in high school, when kids were sitting down worried about the latest trends, I was outside busting my ass, training with my coach, well, my former coach after the team had disbanded. Even after they disbanded, I would work with him. I would train with him. I would practice every fucking day. I was outside on the field, busting my ass, practicing my ass off. And yet, what do I have to show for all that practice and training? Nothing. Why? Because no team will take somebody who's 28 years old. And I don't care if, you know, I play minor league or major. I don't care. As long as I can get paid to play the game that I truly love, that I grew up playing, then I'm happy. Oh, yeah, I've become very proficient and professional with racing style gaming. And I've already proven time and time again, that yes, I am one of the world's fastest. I've proven that multiple times on here, on YouTube, everywhere. I've proven that. But honestly, like I said, I don't belong behind a computer screen. I belong out on the field playing every day. You guys have no idea how depressing it is for me to just sit here and not being able to do a damn thing. It fucking kills me. Let me tell you something. There are nights where I go to sleep. And I don't mean to sound like a bitch when I do this. And I don't mean to sound weak when I say this. But there are nights where I go to sleep bawling my eyes out. Because I want to play so fucking bad. I want to be able to play again so fucking bad. And I'm not able to. Because I know that if I play again, I can not only do what I truly love to do and something that I'm truly good at, but I can also change my family's situation 110% easily. Imagine having a talent and not ever being able to use it, ever. That's what that's like for me. That's what I deal with every day. While my friends are sitting here, you know, making all this money, doing this and that, I'm sitting here left with nothing. I'm sitting here not able to do a thing. And it's not even my fault. You know, people sit there and say that you can... You know, that you can do whatever you want, but that's not true. You can't always do everything that you want to do. Because a lot of things that we want to do, they cost way too much. 
Like, granted, if you got the money, yeah, go ahead and do it. But for people like me, we don't have that luxury. My family just barely gets by on bills. And I've got so much fucking talent that I can use and no way to use any of it. And it kills me. It kills me not being able to do anything with it. Whether it's my music, whether it's my artwork, or whether it's playing on a fucking baseball team. I can't do any of it. Because of the fact of my age, and everybody likes to fuck me over. When all I'm trying to do is make an honest living, doing something I'm actually good at doing. Like I said, as far as baseball goes, I don't care whether I play minor league or major league. I don't care. All I care about is playing. That's all I've ever cared about. Now, don't get me wrong. I enjoyed, I enjoy being able to work with the artists that I get to work with because some of them are the most talented people in the world that I've had the honor to work with. And I'm proud to say I've done that. But in the end of it all, I never wanted to become a music artist. I only became a music artist because I had no choice. I had no choice in the matter. Because it was either that and fight to get to where I'm at now and still continue to fight or fall into a dead-end 9-to-5 job for the rest of my life that I know isn't going to get me anywhere. See, people don't seem to understand that I'm not rich. Yes, I might have stuff that are gifts from family members for Christmas and stuff like that. But that's all those were. They're gifts. I never bought them. They were gifted to me. Like my Xbox One. I didn't buy that. That was gifted to me as a Christmas present. My professional camera that you guys always see sitting behind me right there. Well, right there. You know, I didn't buy that. That was gifted to me. You know, everybody wonders why I don't make any any money doing any of the stuff I love. It's because people constantly want to make me out to be a fraud, a fake, a phony. And they'll do anything they can to do that. And as sad as it is, a lot of it has to do with my physical appearance. A lot of them don't care at the fact that my music is some of the best that this world has ever heard. And yet, what do I get? I get belittled for it. I get bashed on. I get torn down. I get made fun of. So I'll tell you something. I've developed some music that blows the mind of a lot of professionals and makes them question why I'm not signed to a professional label or doing anything I love to do professionally. And in the area of music, it's because of my physical appearance. They don't give a fuck about what I can or can't do. They don't care about my music. All they care about is my image. And I'm sorry, but my image should not have a goddamn thing to do with what I do. What should ultimately matter, what should really ultimately matter is my music and what I'm doing with it. That's what should matter, not my fucking image. There's a quote from music artist Machine Gun Kelly. It's in one of his songs. And if I can remember the name of the song, I'll tell you. But there's a song that he, that he does that, in part of it, rings very true. We can give a fuck about appearance as long as they can hear us. He doesn't care how he looks as long as the people hear him. You know, 
and that's how it should be. Image should not matter. What should matter is the music itself. It shouldn't matter how you look. It shouldn't matter how you, like, how you make your music. What should matter is that you're still doing it. But with all these labels wanting people to sign to them and pay and make these artists pay to be signed, that ruins opportunities for people like myself to make a living doing something that they enjoy doing and that they're good at. Now, I'm not saying I didn't that I don't enjoy doing music because I do. I really enjoy it. I've created new sounds that people can never even touch. I've fathered a whole new genre. But as I said, you know, I never intended to do music. I've always been musically inclined, yes. I've always had that skill, even as a little kid. But my ultimate goal was to be able to play sports. That was my ultimate goal for myself, and that got taken away from me, not only due to an accident, but because of the cost of camps and no team wanting to take on somebody like myself who can actually do very good. And that kills me. So I had to settle with the next best thing, which is my music and my artwork. And yet, what do I have to show for any of that? Belittlement getting bashed on, torn down by mainstream labels every fucking day of my life, getting told that I would never get anywhere because I have to have money to make money, and that's not true. There's a lot of artists out there that have, that have made it from nothing. I want to tell you something. I know what it's like to make it from nothing because I come from nothing. When we first moved here to, when me and my family first moved here to Ohio, we were homeless for about two years. Two years, we lived out of the back of my mom's car. Two fucking years, we lived out of the back of that fucking Jimmy. Because we had a GMC Jimmy at the time that unfortunately got totaled in a car accident several years later. And, you know, I get artists telling me every day that the way I conduct business isn't right. How is it not right? As a producer, I make and sell beats for 10 bucks. You know, you send me $10 via Facebook or PayPal, I can do 10 beats and give them to you right then and there. And they are yours to own. I don't do that leasing shit. Whatever I send you, after you, whatever you purchase, you get to keep 100% of. I don't believe in leasing beats or any of that. that. That's stupid. Let's get back to the basics. The way that it should be the entire time. The way that it should have stayed. Which is, you buy a beat from somebody to own it. You don't lease it. You make them affordable. And people rag on me about... The fact that I use loops to make a lot of my work. But that's just because of the fact that I'm on a Chromebook and not a regular computer. There's a major difference between the two, and not a lot of people get that. And the difference between a Chromebook and a regular computer is that Chromebook runs on Android-based systems. It runs on a regular mobile phone-style system. It runs through Google Play Store, which is mobile-based. And your regular computer runs on Windows. So I don't have the luxury of being able to have FL Studios. So I make do with what I got. With Loop Labs, Fan Lab, Soundtrap. I make do with all that. I want to tell you something. I've put out some really good stuff that people have enjoyed. A lot of good stuff that people have enjoyed. Granted, I've had to go in and steal music back from myself and go in and have it recopywritten. But you know what? That's all part of the game. That's all part of it for me. And you know, people say that I can't rap or that I can't sing or any of that. And that I'm one of the worst artists that they've heard. 
then if I'm one of the worst, then why do I have so many people telling me that they enjoy my music and that my music helps them? <clears throat> why is it that I get asked damn near every day why I'm not signed to a professional record label? Why is it that I get asked why I'm not making it in the music industry? It's because of these fucking corporate pricks that want the same person saying the same shit over and over again. I'm sorry I stand out from the crowd. But you know what? That's just how I am. I would rather stand out from the crowd rather than talk about the same shit that the last person I had fucking talked about and look like an idiot. Because when you talk about gangs, drugs, and drive-bys, you look like a fucking idiot. You're basically saying the same shit as the last person, but in a different way. You know, people say the underground, the music scene, but you got you guys that are saying that are wrong. It's not the underground that's ruining the music scene. It's you mainstream fucking pricks. You sit there, you talk about gangs, drugs, drive-bys, getting money, and this and that. But the truth is, you're just saying the same shit as the last fucking guy. The exact same fucking thing. And y'all think that, you know... And these, this is for every artist out there as well when I speak about this. You guys think these artists that you guys watch on TV and this and that, you guys really think that they have all that money? You think they own that Lamborghini? You think they own that car? They don't own any of that. Half that shit that you see in the music videos is loaned to them by major companies. They don't own any of that shit. That's loaned to them for the use of the videos. Yeah, there's a few artists out there that do own expensive cars. But as for the rest of them, they don't own that fucking shit. They really don't. And that's where a lot of people get it get it really twisted. They think that they see these artists and, oh, you know, I can do this and that, blah, blah, blah. Well, you know what? That artist that you're looking at, where they've got that expensive ass Lamborghini and that Ferrari. You know, you're following a false act. Because those guys don't own that shit. And not a lot of people realize that. And, you know, if I'm such a shitty artist, why is it that I remained on Reverb Nation as Reverb Nation's number one music artist for Akron, Ohio? From 2010 up till late last, well, late 2017, early 2018. I remained on top that entire time. But the only reason why I fell off is because they wound up changing it up and I wasn't able to post any more of my stuff. And you know, people say that because I'm special needs that I don't deserve a shot. Well, you know what? I don't want to be treated like a special needs person. I want to be treated like every other fucking artist out there and have a fair chance. You know, I want that shot as an artist to be able to say, hey, I made it professionally as a music artist. And yo, Gabe, yes, I am, dude. I've always been cool with Eric. Always. You know, that's my brother right there, man. I can never not be cool with him. Like, I've known the guy for 15 plus years. Of course I'm cool with him. I've been cool with him. But, you know, it just, it kills me because I get everybody telling me, oh, you know, you don't need a label. You need to do this. You need to do that. Well, for those of you that don't understand, I do need a label. I need someone to be able to manage my shit and help me to make that money to where I can start playing shows professionally. 
to where I can start making money on a professional level instead of sitting here doing this shit by myself day in and day out. I want that level that will allow me to do my shit my way and not care. A label that's actually willing to pay me for what I do and not fuck me over every five seconds. And you know, if I suck at music, why is it that I'm able to why is it that I'm able to do? Professional, melodic, scream-style vocals of damn near any song you fucking give me. Why is it that I'm able to keep up with professionals like Cryptic Wisdom, Six Seconds? Two of the fastest fucking rappers in the game and I can keep up with them like it's nothing. Easily, I can keep up with them both. And you don't think I can, I'm about to prove you guys wrong. This is one of Cryptic Wisdom's fastest fucking rafts ever. This is Last Stand. Power is the new and I say this to the mainstream fuck the mainstream industry you fucking puppets this is for everybody in the underground man this is for all of you guys supporters and artists alike They say that I'm never gonna amount to anything in this life But I got some pride, I'm not swallowing, call on it tonight And they made me write and try, I'm out of my high school Got a gun to my hand, every night we're gonna talk with a chunk that I might pull Nobody knows it, it's over for me, I'm over the edge I'm blowing up inside, cause I'm not who I'm supposed to be Nobody's chosen me to sit for the heavens And yet I'm neglected the demons in my head I'm the reverend like I'm never gonna get another chance to enjoy with Somebody else, cause I'm too content to admit to the pain of your own matter of hell. If I had it ready to it so stupidly, it could be you and me in the future, fucking in love and mutually. But it's never gonna be that way if life is looking down now. I gotta get my van, my tank, get my hands on the check with the mic and look right out. It's a crowd in my dreams. If you really wanna know what I mean, that's too bad, cause I just don't trust anyone anymore. You're an enemy, see? This is my last Tell me what you really mean, cause after this record, I'm headed for the I can't take it. I made myself to be someone that I'm not as crazy. So save all your goodbyes. I'm gonna give it to you one last time. So if you feel me, just throw your fist up. You're gonna miss me. Take one, I'ma take it slow Happiness, I can't make it show Cause I've been forgotten, there's no fixing up forsaking all In the red, I'ma make my goal Whatever it means, I don't hustle crack But whatever it takes, I'ma make my cake And might just bust a rat For the green, I see no point To be doing it free, my joints Are the hottest products up on the market Rocking, bringing noise But I can't do that, cause I do rap for the fans What I need to be And if they leave me, this ain't easy I cannot be the bet Did I find collect the check for the words of my notepad I'm giving it all the way to my family And it's so sad Didn't really have to come to this But I'll fuck up and you know it so And the pain that I gained the right the good is gonna get covered No, I can't just keep up with my music Like my challenges Between being me 
Cause these in you, I can't balance it in. This baby me the last album when you play your amigos. You ain't never gonna hit a motherfucker drop with this shit like that. Shit. Last thing, tell me what you really mean. Cause after this record, I'm headed for the guillotine. I can't take it. I made myself to be someone that I'm not in this crazy. Now to take it up a notch to six seconds. I know for you guys, I'm going to do one of his fastest ones ever. Let's see, where's it at? Now, if you guys do know or don't know, you know, I'm obviously a huge, you know, anime fan. And this, I'm about to show you guys just how quick I can spit with this Naruto flow right here. This is for every motherfucker that don't think I can spit fast. That last one was just to show you all that I can spit. This one to show you guys that I can spit fast. Oh, yes. This is godly. So godly. So godly. Mm -hmm. Sounds of that. You something real. And there are quick parts in yes. that, so listen up. Yeah, see me that. Who am I? Kill him all. Fit to the sound. Five with the phone. Turn the stone face. I still inside. Now I'm slaying. Clay this up on the side. Skate style. Then I'll be gone. And then you'll flash like my nido. I go harder than two close fists. Spitting grand fireballs. But you know this. You know six and seven. Tell these when I'm not you. Bringing flames on and then and on. That's a rock to grow. I kill you with seven. Say you're not. Come on, roll my angle with the crystal eyes and mirrors. I'm thinking that you're going to try to knock me. Cause I do a bigger choji and I got the rock me. I feel like my cocky boots are fucking still at now. Me, I'm seen. Genocidal, so I'm drawing first. Taking moms from niggas like Garmin's work. Better recognize them fucking sick. That I'm fisting tall shit. I'm sharper than the blades of a hit and miss. So it's been finished for me when I dispatch this rap. Where you think you call me to save you with a six pack? Six pack of bank, you know, money shook. Launching niggas away with a no money push. This is tail beast, ball me. We know what I'm to a red headed be such a no man like I got some more things than a kid of me. More raps than a kid of me. A fucking ginger reek. You ain't thinking you're killing me. I don't know. Two hundred thousand for you and get fake. You don't want to come back when you don't say that. All these niggas are Bobby Rose Tell them they're gonna tell them I'm gonna listen to Bobby Rose I'm gonna fuck him I want you to know you was not in the sand You know the chance of the past I'm gonna cock it The Mitsu Kage The right Kage The Kaze Kage And remember I'm gonna cock See the sign Make the story What you doing That old game is going to go I know The whole story is like Cock a roll It's a soul And that's me no She no I ain't a hero I'm fresh face to rap Yo, it's got all Chill Put a ride and sit And show the kid You need a dial Be corner Get the eye ticket I see sweet cheap yes. Are you the same company that the price? What a kind of I run cause I went trying to die, girl. I'm a touchy. More heart than cock to do a cook and hands a guy. You really want in a box that you find a transform bitch. Sure you see monster throwing more palms and they see you say nice. We need a bit to grass. A rookie model. Got a body from the shadow. Let's check a model. Get me. I got more forms than that. Ten and go weapons ready than motherfucking tens and beyond the new groups. Squad. Rain and shoot, shoot, you couldn't escape with a self to shoot, shoot. Second, second, now, yeah, now, not you. Finger flip for me, we'll through what's the sign. To say you're the answer, he don't know nothing, bitch. I'm the biggest creature that isn't down for summoning it. Bitch, boy, see he's claiming that you're nicer. Yeah, and you'll be way more dramatic than your right. I'll stop you in a drive. Oh, he moves more, you're a girl. And when you drop to you, go rolling, you're going to come to my knee, king. You're a main as a lane. Getting in that ass like a thousand years of pain. We didn't get a kid, cock, we'll fall through the same. Cause my chakras are insane. 
same like Corona out of stage. Shades is clear, well, I'm changing. I'm moving, bang, 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 Treat the kids in my thighs, wanna go, borrow, borrow, stop, 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 but then sometimes I'm not, 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 i Now, to show you guys that I can do professional melodic vocals straight the fuck up. <laughs> and you know what? I'm going to do a song I've not done before, a melodic style for you guys. This is... I stand alone, and y'all know who it is. I ain't gotta say it. And once again, I do not own any of these songs at all. You know, all rights go to their artists and bands and shit. Inside I 
Oh, one minute, y'all. We're right back. Yeah.
All right, what up, y'all? I'm back. But point is, man, for all you record labels out there, take a look at what I just did. And then tell me I'm wrong. As for everybody else in the underground, man, and everybody out there hustling, man, keep on doing it, man. Bunch of you guys. I'm about to pop off and chill for the night. And I'll see you guys in the morning, man. And for the love and support, man, thank every single one of you guys. You guys are fucking amazing. You guys rock. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you guys in the morning, man. Peace.